Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are here together in the name of Lord Jesus Christ on the first day of the week. Lord, in the midst of the presence of the Holy Spirit, we want to hear your words, Lord. Give us understanding and give us spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we may understand your words, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Yeah, let me read the book of Psalm chapter 148, okay? Praise you the Lord, praise you the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise you him, all his angels, praise you him, all his hosts, praise you him, sun and moon, praise him, all you stars of light, praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. We, he hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all dips, fire and hail, snow and a vapor stormy when fulfilling his word. Me, mountains and all the uh, fruitful trees and all cedars. A beast and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, king of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Okay. Uh, the scripture related to today's, you know, uh, sermon is also book of Psalm chapter 29, verse 1 through 11. Give unto the Lord, you mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory, due unto his name, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voices of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory, and the, uh, and the wreath, a thunder wreath, the Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful, and the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars, yes, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He may make his them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divides the flame of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the hinds, hinds to calves and discovers the forest. And in his temple do everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yeah. The Lord sit is king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless the people with peace. Yeah, the Bible written says, okay, that the Spirit of God, that is the Holy Ghost, walked on the surface of the waters before creating all things in the earth. The Bible you know, says like this, and the earth was without form, and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The water created by God gives life to all creatures, as well as as men. And more than 70% of human bodies are made of water. Water is the gift of grace given to the earth by God. However, this world still does not appreciate or understand the water that, that God has, has given to them. 
They rather believe scientists who claim it to be principle of nature, believing more than God's word. In order to fulfill the word of God promised to Abraham, he drove out all the tribes, nations living in the land of Canaan, that is, you know, now Palestine, and planted the people of Israel as just like a best vine chosen by God. But they did not trust in the Lord God. And they were still serving the Gentiles despite the warnings of prophets. God warned through prophet Ezekiel. So will I send upon you famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee, I the Lord have spoken it. Israel, which has not listened to God's word, eventually went and fell miserably by Babylon, whom God had used as a sword according to his word. The first thing was to bring the famine without rain, and the famine sent the prophet for them to repent and return to their God, Lord God. The second thing was epidemic, pestilence, and the last one was to go up the nations and use them as the sword to destroy, kill Israel. At the time, the Israelites did not believe that the famine, plague, and sword that God sent them were to discipline them. They thought those things as a simple natural disasters as those who lived in the last days of today and persecuted and killed the prophet who said that all these calamities would come from God. The Holy Ghost is taking about the fl uh, flood through the text of scripture. Floods are the opposite of famine. It is also a disaster that the rain does not come, but it is also a disaster that rain comes too much. In the days of the old Noah, God judged the world by the flood. However, the world is still dedicated to storing with the means of man without repentance. Even when the famine comes and the plague and sword, we can see that the environment in Korea is the same as the old Israel. Not only Korea, but all nations, including the United States, are in the same situation. The people of God, Israel, still do not believe in God, and the Church of God are serving idols through WCC. Not only worship Jesus Christ, but also worship all other gods of all other religions. The Holy Spirit spoke through King David. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon many waters. The Lord cities upon the flood. Yeah, the Lord cities king forever. King David witnesses a tremendous voice of God with a flood and thunder. People still believe the thunder of flood is a natural disaster and do not consider God to be walking. They believe in heaven, but God who created the heavens, they are not believing. But when the voice of the Lord comes with the flood, the Holy Spirit is giving a message to come upon God sitting on his throne on the flood and repent. Of course, we must not forget that we must pray for them in the midst of the flood, feeling sorry for the suffering of God's flood. I'm talking about you know things happening in Texas. The Lord spoke to his disciples beforehand about the things that would happen on the earth before the great tribulation. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and the kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. In Psalm 148, we just read, right? When God commands all things and all the nations of the earth to praise the Lord God, praise the Lord. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind, the fulfilling 
His word. God is using all those things, you know, to fulfill his word. Use the instrument of judgment, expecting, you know, repentance. God is testifying that the fire, hell, snow, fog, and storm, which people regard as natural disasters, are God's tours of judgment. The earthquake of Northridge, California, it happened in 1994, was the judgment of God at the place where it was the center of pornography at the time. Hurricane Katrina, which struck New Orleans in the United States a long time ago, was a judgment on the United States if they wanted to part Israel's land. They just gave, you know, three-day notice to leave the West Bank, you know, giving up, you know, the occupy the West Eastern part of, you know, Jerusalem. Also, Hurricane Harvey that hit Texas recently is to know that it is God's judgment on where the worship of Satan and the long-term deal of inference organs are being done. In addition, we need to know that the floods that occurred in Houston are also where the typical Lakewood church, Joel Austin, is spreading prosperity theology. Not spreading judgment of God, not spreading the sound doctrine. We must also pray for Korean churches to be repentant, knowing that our home country, Korea, is in great danger. Followed by famine and plague, God is at a time when we do not know when to use the sword on the, on, in, the north, in the north, just like the old Israel or denomination enter the WCC and serve idols of other religions. God will accomplish his will that all men with all their creatures will serve and praise the Lord God in heavens and earth. It is also clear that God will judge all nations who do not praise him. In the Bible witnesses is like it's saying, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with a, a timbrel and a harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will uh, beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, uh, let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hands, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their noble with uh, fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise you, the Lord. In a book of Psalm, uh, just, you know, ending saying just like one uh, final verse, you know, uh, chapter 150 and verse 6, that everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. That means, you know, until you come, if anybody still love praise the Lord, they shall be judged, executed. Because they have to. Because, you know, they're all the creation. God created them all. Not only men and women, but also all, even waters, everything. Except the men and women, you know, other creatures still praising the, the Lord. But most of the people are not praising yet, including, you know, Israel. I bless all of you to be wise, to praise the Lord in your life for everything. Because he gave you salvation. Because he became a man and died for us. And buried and re resurrected on the third day to give us eternal life. God bless you all. Amen.